Welcome to another home video tour, everyone. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jack Graham with Simply Vegas. Today, we are in West Summerland, and we're gonna tour this beautiful 2,302 square feet home. Now, this home was built by Cal Atlantic Homes. It's a home builder here in Las Vegas, and um, this home has plenty of features to offer, such as pool, spa, mountain views, strip views. We have a rooftop, uh, rooftop deck as well that shows off a full 360 degree view here in Las Vegas. Okay, let's go check it out inside and see what it has to offer. As you get in, you have the pavers already and those pavers over there on the driveway for a two-car garage. Now, this home was built in 2017, okay? So, it is uh, like new, and it has plenty of features already in it and upgrades that will cost you a lot of money. And if you were to purchase a home new like this, it will probably cost you way more than this right now. Okay, so this is where you can find a lot of value while still getting almost a brand new home. And as we walk in, we'll see, uh, we can go upstairs here or to the living area. Let's check out the living area first. And then we will go out to the backyard and check out that bedroom downstairs. There's one bedroom downstairs. There's three upstairs, plus the loft, plus a rooftop deck on top with beautiful views, okay? So over here, we have a nice open floor plan. Now there's not much here to show it off with. Uh, you know, compared to what we see usually in these video tours in the new construction homes. We've got nine foot ceilings everywhere. Plenty of light fixtures here are kind of cool. I'm guessing this is where your dining room would go, which is right here, your, your dining area. Then we got uh, double doors here, glass doors that lead out to the backyard, which we're gonna go to in a second first. Let's check out the kitchen. We've got over here, our access to the garage. Double stacked oven. This is another upgrade. Good size pantry. Now on this uh, finish right here on the walls, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a knockdown stucco, okay? And then over here we have this kitchen, check it out. Three seats on the island, two inch coarse countertop, beautiful white, it looks amazing. And these cabinets are actually all on upgrade as well. These are all soft closing, white cabinets oh these have the pull outs too this is the good stuff check it out Beautiful. it looks like this one is broken and I'm not sure what's happening to it but that's something that we would have to fix yeah it looks like there's something wrong here maybe it's something in here yeah you see those things it just needs to be pulled up very easy fix and that will be your island. Now we don't have the sink on the island because obviously we have it over here to the left. Stainless steel appliances everywhere. Let's start from here. We've got microwave up here. All KitchenAid appliances. Okay. Farmhouse sink, stainless steel. Look at that. It's a huge sink. This uh, backsplash here is a subway tile. It's got that black. Uh, dark grout in it, which many people do like. Cabinets are beautiful. All right. There's a cooktop. Wow. It's great, they put in a lot of money into this home for all the upgrades. We got the 52 inch here on the cabinets, which is definitely an upgrade because usually these come with the 
36 or 42 inches. Nice stainless steel refrigerator. And then let's see how, where should we go next? Should we go outside? Let's go outside. Let's go to a beautiful pool and see what it has to offer. I've got to pace myself with this home because it has four floors, including the rooftop. No, three floors, never mind. And check it out. Covered patio. We have a built-in barbecue. This is definitely uh, an upgrade built by the builder. Like these are not after purchase built, uh, you know, upgrades. I'm uh, wondering why the gas is on. Now that's messed up. Unless they had a barbecue this morning, they forgot somebody left this on. So let's turn it off for them. Off, apagado. All right, it's off. But I was like, what's this heat coming out? <laughs> somebody had the barbecue on still. All right, let's check out what we have here. Look at this. Very low maintenance. We have a gas fire pits over there. That's awesome. Plenty of room right here to put some chairs around. Look at that. Beautiful sized pool. And here is your fire pit. They got the Italian Cypress here as well. Now these are pretty young, but these get big. And what it's gonna do is, it's gonna give you a lot of privacy around once they start filling in and they get bigger okay i wish they would have uh, put them a little bit closer to each other it would give you even more privacy okay we've got a little bit of a strip view down there i don't think you can see it but uh we're way higher here compared to the street this is actually alta not much traffic at all. Yeah, I love this pool. Look at that. We got the steps to go down there. Nice area to just chill and relax. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get a clear shot of this house as well. You see, we got the a huge balcony up there, which um, is also another thing that, another upgrade as well. And let's see if, we, if the, pool has a water heater or not let's go check it out if it has a water heater here's your spa let's see what this one is oh right it does have a heater but that might just be for the spa I'm not sure if it is uh, I don't think this heater right here is big enough for that pool so I would guess that this is just for the spa, the heater. And then uh, obviously we still have the original uh, air conditioning unit because the home is only three years old. So as far as the starting price here, we are looking at $660,000. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you some homes here in this neighborhood and what they sold for. Not that I'm gonna go in, but I'm gonna go show you what, which home sold and for what price, just to give you an idea of the comps. Okay, so uh, going into, did we see the garage? Let's go check out the garage first. Then we'll go to the bedroom downstairs and we'll head out upstairs. Okay, so in the garage, we got plenty of storage room up there, which is great. We got an epoxy garage. That is another upgrade. Two bay garage. We got some room over here. Not much though, but way more room on this side. So you would have your storage over here. However, I love how they put these storage units up here, which is great. It really helps a lot. Now, water heater, still the original one. Looks like it's in great conditions. Now this is the water softener system. These are huge. So this must be the whole house softener. And uh, right here, we've got uh, 
salt, right? This is where you put your Epsom salt. It definitely needs to be refilled. They never did it, I assume. So yeah, let's check out upstairs what we have. Oh, I forgot the wine cooler over here. Check out this desk. This is your homework nook right here. Hmm. Love these cabinets. All right, let's go see what we have. This is your first bedroom downstairs. Now this is a small one, okay? This is probably nine foot by, probably even eight by 10, 11. So very small place where you're probably looking for a twin size bed over there and you can put uh, possibly a desk or something, maybe not a chest for, um, for clothes. So. Just giving you a heads up, it's not the biggest room down here. This would be ideal for an office possibly, uh, but also a guest room, it would, it would be fine. Because we do have down here a full bathroom here, well, three quarters, walk-in shower, and glass doors. We've got the, what's it called? Fiberglass shower here, so it's just one piece no grout in it. And here it's gonna give you a little bit better uh, look of the texture. Cause we've got the shade here, the, the light on top. And we also have the like button as usual. Go ahead and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. We've got undermounted sinks too, that's great. Mowing sinks. Okay, let's see what's going on upstairs. Okay, so. Also, don't forget to check out the link down below. It will give you more information about this property. And if you have any questions or need any help with your real estate need, feel free to reach out. Over here to our left is our master bedroom. We got a loft over here that leads you upstairs, okay, from that door right there. And then over to this side, we have another two bedrooms, okay? The loft can be easily turned into a Four bedroom as well, if you want a five bedroom, as well, I don't think it's necessary. Undermounted sinks, same courts, countertops here. Got the style. And we have our tub and shower combo here, fiberglass, one piece. Okay, got a can light up there too. Not bad. I'm liking this home more and more. First bedroom up here, this is a 10 by 11 bedroom, still nine foot ceilings. And we also have a walk-in closet. We've got those baseboards right there. That's a six inch baseboard, straight edge. They look great. We got, the, what is this, two and a half inches? on the doors, a straight edge as well. And we got the six panel doors as well, okay. So let's see what we have in here. They put this weird thing down here, but oh well. It's not gonna be here by the time we close, so. 10 foot by, now this is probably an 11 by 11, 11 by 12 bedroom, so a little bit bigger, uh, good size. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned already, but we do have eight foot doors everywhere in this home. We got the built-in cabinets in here as well, as in the other room, which is great. And let's go visit our laundry room and then the master. Snow white, coarse countertops, the Petrophilia, the Petrofina, whatever it's called. And stacked here washer and dryer not stacked but the tall ones look at that you can store some stuff down here and i love how it's it's taller so you don't have to bend down in order to put in your clothes got upper cabinets here and also the access to the, the attic okay so we came in from here from the stairs we're gonna check out the master now and then the loft over there 
All right, so $660,000. This is what it will get you here in West Summerlin. This is one of the newer areas, okay? This is a 14, I would say by 18 bedroom, probably even up to 20 maybe. Got a balcony up there. We're gonna go check out the view now and then we'll finish it up on the rooftop, which is beautiful. Wow, look at this. This owner spent a lot of money in upgrades to buy this home. They're probably just breaking even on this home if they sell it for 660. And then, look at that. All these cabinets, plenty of upgrades in here. So let's check out the bathroom, the master bath. We do not have a tub in here, okay? We'll keep that in mind. Linen closet. Love this walk-in shower though. Oh, we've got two shower heads. That's awesome. So, two showers for one. <laughs> this is great, I love it. We've got the same coarse countertop that we have on, on the counters here. Sorry, the, the sides of the shower right here. Same as this one. Dual sinks, soft closed cabinets. And we've got a water closet here. Okay. Now going upstairs, well before we go upstairs, Right. Wait, Jack, you said you were going to go outside on the balcony. True. Let's go see our beautiful views here on this balcony. Great size balcony. The neighbors out the balcony as well. Look at that. Mountain views. Let me zoom in a little bit. We got mountain views all around here. And we also have a strip view. This is a great strip view. You know that nobody's gonna take it away from you. It's not like they're gonna build or anything down there because it's already built. But look at that strip view. That is awesome. Beautiful. We got, this is the strip down here. And then we also have uh, downtown down there or where is downtown oh that's downtown you see it that is downtown and that's the strip right there okay so and look at this backyard beautiful size home now we do have a rooftop up there as well you can't really see it from here but we'll go in and check it out Let's go to the loft and then head upstairs and see that 360 view that I told you about. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we have hardwood floor everywhere. This is real wood. Okay, another huge upgrade that the owner did. Here's the loft. Oh, we've got a built-in entertainment center. Same with the cabinets. I mean, this thing by itself, it must have costed like a three or $4,000 upgrade just for this. You can easily fit a 70 inch TV in here. I would say more than 70 would be a little bit tight, maybe up to 75. Yeah, great. You could also make this into a bedroom, but I would leave it like this because it's beautiful. Got the glass door going out to this balcony here. So we have a balcony as well. Now we don't have any views on here because it's showing the neighborhood over here. But they do have some space, so maybe the smokers would love that. I don't know. I don't smoke, so I don't know. Going upstairs. Let's see what we have. Whoa. Look at that view. 360 degree view of pretty much all of Las Vegas. 
neighborhood is amazing. Looks great. Look at that, all with the Spanish tiles. Those roofs. Looks great. You know what? I'm going to tell you here about the comps because I can see all the homes over here. Look at that. We have a full strip view. Look at that. That's a clear view right there. See, that is downtown. And over there, that is the strip right there. Okay, that's the stratosphere. Strat, whatever they call it, all the way down. And then uh, over there, those are, I think that's Tivoli or something over there. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, great. Yeah, that's the Red Rock Casino over there to the right. Uh, there it is. Red Rock Casino. Now, in this neighborhood, we have a few homes. So this home right here sold, it is the same square footage as this one, 2,300. It sold for $732,000. Now this home is upgraded like this one. I would say about the same. However, it does have a bigger backyard. It has a corner lot. It doesn't have a neighbor right next door. So I don't think you can see it over there, but it has a bigger, no, it's a, it's a bigger backyard. It has pool and spa, which we do too. So thing is that one sold for 732. It is a little bit more upgraded, however. I would say a little bit, yes. But this one is very nice as well. They put in a bunch of money. Then there's one down there. I think it's the third or the fourth home down here, which still has a strip view because as you can see back there is just a road. And then you can see over there the strip view. However, I don't think it has a rooftop. Oh no, yeah, it does have the rooftop. That one sold for 630, uh, about 630,000, maybe 625. However, it did not have a pool and a spa in the backyard, okay? So just keep those in consideration. After considering those, I would say this home, uh, oh, also because that one sold in, back in September. So considering that, oh, look at this view, that's beautiful. All these homes, the way they built it, they built them so that everybody could get a view, you see? So as you go, this is the first home with the rooftop. That's the next one. That's the next one, you see? They all have the rooftops, but it's higher over there. That way everybody can get a view of the strip. And uh, probably not as good as this one because we're at the edge of the community. So you're gonna get a better strip view here. They might have a, a strip view a little bit limited, okay? And, um, and yeah, so that home I was telling you sold for 625. So I'm guessing this home should at least sell for 660. I think it's a, it's underpriced with the current market. They could definitely get away with a way, uh, way more money they could get out of this home. Okay. Beautiful. Here's your space over here. Let me know down in the comments, what you think about this home. If you would like to, uh, if you would like to schedule a showing, and also, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel as I bring you home video tours every day. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.